I want to build a ro robot. What would it mean to build a robot? It's a good question. I also want to understand in French. Let's say I want to understand French. What would it mean to understand French? So so esoteric, my goodness. And then, hmm, do you like, like me? What makes you think I like you? Just the, the, the conversations we have, they're so deep and thought provoking. You, 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 you confuse me. What makes you think that I confuse you? The, the question that you, you ask, you, you, you take everything I say and you turn it around and you throw it against me, almost as if we're having a real meaningful conversation. Howdy, howdy. This is Mr. Potter. Uh, uh, you've noticed we've done a little bit of ch chatting here with... Uh, our little friendly chat bot here. Um, um, a couple of things that have changed here is we've actually made it where if I tell it that I want to do something, it asks this question, what does it mean to do what I'm saying? I want, want to do. And similarly, I, I anytime I have this you followed by, by this me, it's saying you know, what makes you think that I, I whatever, you. So, we've actually adapted this Magpie. You see, we're on Magpie 4. We've adapted this Magpie class to deal with these interactions that allow us to interact, uh, asking these leading questions that actually pertain somewhat to what we're talking about. So, remember in our last video, we talked talked about this, this find keyword method. And the whole idea behind this find keyword method is that given a statement, we can find out where a particular instance of, of mother or father or sister or brother or no. We can find the instance of these variables, where they show up. And if, if they show up, you know, with the space in front of and a space behind, then we know that, that that's a succinct idea and that we can reply to that succinct idea. Um, so we're doing something similar with this as well. Notice I still have the if statement dot length is equal to zero. We want them to say something to us if this if there's the word no anywhere in there then we have the why so negative if it's talking about our mother or our father sister or brother then we want to know more about your family but then i also see this down here uh if i find keyword for our statement if it finds i want want to, starting at position zero, if it, it finds 
finds that, that somewhere, then, then we've got this method called transform I want to statement, which, which gives us our statement, would give us a reply that has something to do with it. So notice here, here where I've got this, I want to build a robot. This build a robot somehow gets passed on, and I, I build the sentence, what would it mean to build a robot? Or if I say I want to understand French, then it says, what do you, what would it mean to understand French? So I want to take a look at this method, see exactly what's going on here. So, so in this transform I want to statement, here's the transform I want to statement. It's what it does is it takes the I want to blank and transforms it to what would it mean to blank. So in other words, we have to find where I want to do is in the statement. So we're doing our traditional statement dot trim. We're just kind of cutting off the spaces in the front, the white space at the end. And then one other thing that we're doing is if we have punctuation at the end, we've got the statement dot substring, statement dot length is minus one. If the last char dot equals period, in other words, if we typed a period at the end of our statement, we're basically going to trim it off. Now, of course, it would be nice if I did something like or last char dot equals uh, question mark or last char dot equals exclamation point. That, that would be nice because then, you know, how, however we reply, I will just, just kind of peel off that, that last piece of the punctuation. And what it's going to do is it's going to find the position of the keyword I want to. And this, this is going to tell us immediately where I want want to start. So I want to find the rest of the statement. Everything after the I want to. And, and so we're, we're using the substring method to do so. Notice that we're starting at, at PSN plus 9. And we're, we're starting at PSN plus 9 because this string, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, is, is 9 characters long. And so what we're doing is we're start, starting Im immediately after the O in 2. And we're ca calling on trim again because there's probably a space between I, I want 2 and whatever we we want to continue. So the trim gets rid of that, that space so that we can force our own space there and say what would it mean to the rest of the statement. And then we add the, our question mark on. Notice that because we, we took care of the punctuation that was at the end of our, our statement, the only punctuation we'll have in our statement is this question mark. So if I 
run this. Let me go ahead and run this again. So I can say uh, I want to eat some pizza. What would it mean to eat some pizza? Um, I want to visit the mall. What would it mean to visit the mall? I want to explore the uh, Australian Australian Outback and hunt the wild gazebo. What would it mean to explore the Australian Outback and hunt the wild gazebo? Notice that it's finding where I, I want to do is and, and it's taking everything afterwards from here, here to here it's removing the final piece of punctuation it, it's removing this leading space here and, and then it's Taking this part of our statement, the uh, everything from, from the, the to, to and, and it's putting it on here. I could even say sometimes I want to ch choke you. What it mean to ch choke you? So it's not perfect, but at least it gets the idea that it takes what we've said and it kind of turns it around so that we can interact with the machine. It's kind of a jumping off point for us to say, okay, well. means I want to place my, my hands around your neck. Hmm. What would it mean to, to place my hands around your neck? Because there, there I am again using the phrase I, I want to do. So interesting and it's this novel idea that it actually responds to something that I'm trying to say. Remember that there was something else that we did here. Um, notice I had intern and said I'd say something please. Um, if, if I ended up saying uh, you know, Do you want to go to the movies with me? And it says, what makes you think, think that I want to go to the movies with, with you? It takes this to go to the movies with, which was between the you and me up here and builds this phrase. So I want to take a look at that in our magpie. We've got this transform you me statement method that does this, this you something me and transforms it into the statement what makes you think Think that I blank you. So, 
So we're going to call on that in our uh, get response method. It's going to look for the instance of, of you starting at the beginning. And it's going to call that place position. And then if position is greater than or equal to zero, and we're looking for where me shows up, and, and me has to show up anywhere beyond PSN. So if me shows up anywhere beyond PSN, and we had a U, then I know I've got a U, and then some words, some phrase, some something, and then the word me, and so we can call on this transform you me statement. And the way we transform it is very, very similar to how we transformed the previous I want to statements. So I'm going to trim the statement again, getting rid of any white space. That way we know we're only dealing with characters. And then I'm going to get the substring, find out what the last character is. And again, I probably want to put these tweaks that I did up here. Let's go ahead and copy all these characters. So I've got a last char as a period, or last char as a question mark, or last char as an exclamation point. Then we want to substring. We want to peel that one off. So we go from zero to the statement dot length minus one. I want to find the position of you. I want to find the position of me, and I want every everything in between. So I'm using the substring method again. Starting at position of view plus three, and that's because the word Y-O-U is three letters long. And ending at position of me. Now, of course, that's going to include the space after the U, in the space before me, so we're going to call on trim again. And then we've got the return. What, what makes you think I, rest of statement, you? Notice that we've trimmed the spaces off, and then we end up putting them back. And so that's just a matter of us making sure that the words phrased exactly the way we want it. So what I want to do in this video is I want to add one more of these types of statements. Um, what I want to do is I want to add the response. Let's go ahead and do uh, um, if, if this is true then do this. And so what I really need to do is I really need to, to kind of put another else if up here. So let's get rid of this here. So I'm going to say if, if uh, find keyword and 
for statement. And, and I want to do I hate. Starting at the beginning. But if, if that is greater than or equal to zero, then we're going to do the following code. This says that we need to do some type of transformation here. So we're going to uh, transform I hate something What's so bad about something? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to follow the same idea like, like we did for the I want to because the I I want to have anything that was following the I want to and called on this. So I'm going to call on this response gets transform I hate statement given our statement. So we're actually going to be modeling our output from the the transformation of the I want to statement. So I'm going to go down here and kind of model this statement. So private string. Uh, Transform I hate statement. With a string statement. And again, and the first thing we want to do is to get rid of uh, white space and ending punctuation. So we're going to have the statement gets statement dot trim. Again, that gets rid of the white space and then I want to find out the last character. So string last char gets statement and dot substring and I want, I want to do this from statement dot length minus one just, just get the last element of the thing and if and of course this, this is basically what we had up here if the last char was a period or a question mark or an exclamation point. So if that's true, then we want to say that uh, statement gets statement dot substring starting at zero and ending at statement dot length minus one, basically stopping one, one short from the end. And then and I want to say int PSN is going to be equal to find keyword for the statement. I want to find where I hate 
is starting at position zero. And I want to find everything after that. So notice that I hate is one, two, three, four, five, six positions away from the beginning. So our string rest of statement is going to be equal to the statement dot substring starting at psn plus six dot trim. So that, that takes care of any leading spaces and ending spaces after the I, I hate. And, and I want to re return. What did I say I wanted to return? Uh, what's so bad about something? So I want to return. What's so bad? about plus the rest of statement plus space question mark. So I need to have a space here after this about because I, I just trimmed any leading spaces we might have. So let's go ahead and compile this. Let's make sure it works correctly. That compiles well. So we'll go ahead and run this. So if I do this, so hello, hello let's do Talk. Uh, I don't feel like talking. I hate talking. What's so bad about talking? Uh, I hate sh sharing my, my feelings. What's so bad about sharing my feelings? Probably should do, do something here that change these pronouns. That might, might be something that, that we could do, do in a later method. Just any time that, that this rest of statement that we're dealing with, the mind should be transformed to yours, and the yours should be transformed into mine or, or me. That's pretty difficult stuff to do. Uh, um, I hate sharing my, my feelings because I hate, hate feeling vulnerable. What's so bad about feeling vulnerable? Nothing, I guess. I do. I like talking to you. Hmm. It would be really good if we added something here that whenever I said I like it would reply to me about, about what it, it is that I, I like. I think I'll leave that as, as an exercise for, for y'all. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank, thank you for watching. Have a great day.